there. I think that's at a, that is at a much more appropriate level, I believe. There we go. Yeah, doing the stream... I'm doing the stream early this month because today is my only day to stream. Because I'm going out of town and I'm going to be, like, half off the grid until August. So, not going to have a chance to stream or do anything YouTube or internet related. However, uh, I will be working. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to have a, a long chance to sit down and work on this fucking video that's taken me over uh, almost seven months now <laughs> to, to fucking finish. So, uh, yeah, we'll get there. So hopefully, it'll actually be done. No, no, no. The video is going to be done by August because I'm, I'm going to be like for the next three weeks, I'm just going to be doing nothing but tanning myself on the beach and editing that video. So it's going to be mostly done by the time I get back. I know for a fact I don't have enough TF2 footage, so I'm going to do all of the editing that I can, you know, fill out the empty spaces with the examples that I have with my with my with my YouTube video or my, my TF2 gameplay, and then I'll be able to like flesh out. I'll be able to flesh out uh, the rest of it once I record the rest of the game footage that I need. It'll take me a little while, but I, 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 I know for a fact it will be done in August. That is that is a surefire guarantee because the next three weeks I'm just working nothing in but nothing except on that video. Like I, I'm finally getting a vacation, you know, the the annual vacation cycle as it is with being a working adult. You only get a few weeks off out of the year, so yeah, they don't think how it'll be like it is, but it do. Better eat sand or else. Thoughts on Pride Month? Why the fuck do they get an entire month? It seems excessive. It seems like a massive corporate scheme so companies can slap a rainbow on their logo or their icon and sell them more of the same product they've been giving them for the other 11 months. I don't know. It's like, Walmart, you're not gonna entice me to buy your fucking ice cream because you slapped a rainbow on your fucking logo. Sorry, not interested. Let's do... Where should we start? I don't know where to start. Let's start with the first link that popped up in my chat. Halloween ammo packs. This is cute. I mean, we get, what, the pumpkins? We get the, like, the, the candy. The Halloween candy. For the, for the usual ammo packs and health kit. For the, for the health kits, rather, and the ammo packs don't get changed. So if they change the ammo packs to this, I think that'd be cool. So... I'm 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 totally for this. I, I see nothing wrong with having a cool little Halloween thing. Unfortunately, Valve will never add assets like this ever again because they don't they're not monetized. If it's not something that can be monetized, then Valve will not put it into the game. There will no longer be gameplay changing content or visual additions that Valve won't earn, that Valve can't earn money off of, which is really unfortunate. There will be no more fucking rebalances. There will be no more Valve content. Only and forever community content until the last fucking server, server shuts down. And that's the reality that we're in right now. But we can still appreciate cool things like this and think about, Oh man, they'd be great if we can get them in the game. Well see, map makers have map stamps. Because people can buy map stamps to support the creators. But Valve still gets a cut. So... They can still monetize the addition of maps. Valve gets a cut of the map stamps, right? I'm pretty sure they do. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think they get a cut of the map, sta map stamp money as well. I think. If you, keep spamming, if you keep spamming me to look at the same thing over and over again, I'm not going to look at it. Uh, it's already already many links. I already have this link. Okay, let's see. They don't take a cut? Okay. Okay, so map if, if Valve doesn't take a cut of the map stamp profits, then that is the only thing that they add that is gameplay and visually changing that they don't make money off of. So It's, it's like, when does it stop, man? It's When does it fucking stop? It's like, 
Well, it's like, can, like, how much of an obnoxious eyesore can we make as a hat, right? It's like, when does it just fucking end? Fuck me. Like, like, just looking at this, this has to be bait, right? It took five people to make, apparently. Fuck me. Five fucking people made this. And it looks like shit! <laughs> It's this big, goofy thing slapped on top of the engineer's head. It's, it's just, okay, engineer has sentry. Put sentry on engineer's head. Wow. Great. Oh, it has jiggle bones, guys. Oh, it's paintable, guys. That totally makes up for the fact it's just this massive, chunky thing protruding from the engineer's head. Oh, my God. The poly count isn't good either. Yeah, it looks like it came out of a fucking N64 game. Holy shit. The texturing is piss poor too. Look at the top of this thing. The hat, like, you know what you could have done? Get rid of the sentry bits and just give us the hat. But we already had the provisions cap, so they couldn't do that. So no, we have to slap engineer. It's like, even the loadout examples they gave look terrible. Like, it's like, it's like at a certain point, you gotta distinguish between What's, what's, what's like, actually gonna look good in-game, regardless of what it is, and what's just gonna be a big fucking eyesore on, on top of someone's head, right? Like, I miss the days when items like this were relegated to Halloween mode. That would be fine, but... Now they're not. Now you get items like this year-round, and it's just, is there more? <laughs> There's more, isn't there? Oh, of course, they made all three, because why not? Let me just go ahead and downvote the rest of them. The only one that is somewhat passable is this one, the this level one century, but we already have a hat like this in the game that no one fucking uses. At least this one kind of looks like a hat and is somewhat passable, but the other two are just so fucking goofy. And it's like you have these two massive things sticking out on the side of the engineer's head. Like, none of these loadouts look good, man. It's just like, what? I, 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 the hat is shit. I could have made better promotional artwork and better promotional loadouts with this shit. But no, pink engineer with a pink beard and whatever the fuck this mess is. My god, this is a fucking awful addition. This gets put in game, no one is going to use it instant trade-up fodder it is it is just it's just not appropriate it's not appropriate to slap these big goofy things all over someone's head it's I'm, I'm so fucking sick of it and you know you know this is gonna get put in the game it's a fucking guarantee because for some reason valve is now obsessed with adding engineer items that are just his buildings but on his player model in some capacity fuck it's so fucking annoying i'm tired of it so fucking tired of it Give us something different, please, for the love of God, stop making crap like that. It's so fucking awful. Thank you, NN, for subscribing. My God, nine months, only a bit longer than Zesty's last video. Yes, I understand. I'm sorry. Trust me. Listen, I'm beginning to understand. I'm beginning to understand the, the anxieties and the pressures that come with an extreme delay between, between videos. Like it's it like I mean I genuinely mean mean this. It's really really weighing on me. I genuinely feel really bad that this video is taking me so long, and I'm sorry. Like I I just I I don't want to rush it. I don't want it to be shit, and so and as a result, it's just taken a really long time for me to get everything into an acceptable spot, and unfortunately, it just took seven it took seven fucking months and hey that's just that's just how that's just how it's gonna go so it'll it'll be done when it's done and i anticipate that it will be finished sometime in august all right you know it's like it's it, it's like this snowballing weight i'm feeling on my fucking shoulders is it's it's not good like it's getting heavier and heavier and heavier like make the video make the video make the video make the video get it out get it out get it out get it out you're falling out of relevancy no one cares anymore it's like fuck i'm like Oh, God, it fucking, it stresses me out, man. I fucking hate it. Jesus. So, yes, I'm, I am working on the video. It will be done, hopefully in August. That is the plan. I, again, I'm sorry it's taking so long. What do we have here? Surfin' Shooter. 
First war paint. Okay. For I, I hate it because of the green. Green is generally something you want to avoid on a war paint that unless it's very heavily muted. And I don't like the way the green is clashing with the tan colors. It's not a good combination. But it's not, it doesn't look, that's like the, the biggest problem with this war paint is the green, I think. I think they would have been far better off using blue, maybe, to, for the blue side. Not sure why they didn't go with that. But then again, if you look at it, like a lot of beach towel designs, it's green. And hey, fucking NN gave out five gift subs. Thanks, man. I really do appreciate that. Seriously, it, it means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> the, the support is really nice, even though I've not put out a video in so fucking long. I'm really sorry. Ah, and yet people still watch me, even though I'm not putting out YouTube content that people care about. Like, hey, you're this is supposed to be the video man, not the stream and second channel man. Ah. Anyway. Anyways. Um. It's not bad. I, I, I suspect this is this guy's first war paint. No, it's his second war <laughs> What is this? What is this for? Is this for TF2, apparently? What is this? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this is. But alright. This is his second war paint. It's, let's, look, let's look at his first one. Um, it looks like he just took a, a Google... Ooh, God, these are really poor uh, work like showcases. I like the gold. The gold is cool. The white is way too saturated. The, the details are way too small and too fine. He would need to upscale this significantly. And he would need to give some texture to the paper to make it look like paper and not just solid white with the notebook paper stripes. If he thickened up the stripes, scaled it up a little bit, add texture to the paper so it wasn't flat white, and then uh, uh, and, and also upscaled the little doodles, then I think it would, would be passable. I don't know if gold is the right choice for this one. I think if you like, if you look at like a spiral notebook, I have one right here. Like if you look at a spiral notebook, right? It has, like, silver. It has, like, these, this, this silver coil holding it together. So perhaps silver would have been a better option, or, like, a, a darker a darker metal would have been good. So I think that would have been a better choice. But the gold doesn't look bad. Um, but flat white, you just really got to avoid, and I think he should have upscaled the doodles. But, for I mean, for a first war paint, this is significantly more effort than most people put into it. So I will I will say hats off to that, but it, it is in need of significant improvements. And it took him almost two years before he made his next one, which is interesting. Also, NN gave out more gift subs. Thanks, man. Two more. I really appreciate that. Or three more even. Christ, thank you. God. Um No, I don't think I looked at that one before. I I've 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 looked at other paper war paints, but I don't think I've I've seen that one. So, and also, Toby resubscribed. Thanks, man. Or Toby. I, I call you Toby because it's easier, but it could be Toby. Toby, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Is this the real Jesus? No, this is the this is big Jesus. And uh, we have uh, my, my nemesis, Zesty Joseph. And uh, we fight constantly over who is uh, who's cooler. I think I'm cooler. <laughs> I'm the cool... I'm, uh, my dad can beat up your dad. I'm the cooler person. I'm the cooler YouTuber. <laughs> No, I'm the big boy. <laughs> oh, I'm retarded. Anyway, uh, Servant Shooter. You know what? It's it's the stripes. The problem comes with the stripes. I think it looks like he was trying to make a beach towel pattern with a sand texture. TF2 beach episode commemorative skin. <laughs> Clever. I don't know. I... Like, stripe, I, I was actually thinking about stripes earlier, and stripes are something that are actually fairly prevalent inside of TF2 textures. I mean, look at this screenshot. You notice a lot of stripes, right? Because there are a lot of geological features on many TF2 maps, and all of TF2's stone textures pay attention to the stratigraphy, so you end up getting a lot of stripes in existing TF2 textures. You also have wooden planks, you have a lot of these linear, but still fairly rough features, so stripes on a war paint tend to blend in pretty well with Team Fortress 2. That's why you see a lot of Workshop Editions make them, not, not to, you know, disregard the fact that it's a fairly easy design to work with. 
but um, they, they tend to not really hurt at all when they're put in the game. The problem with this one, I think, is I don't like... I don't like the lighter color on the outside of the stripes. I think... I think he should have gone with a darker color, maybe gray or black. That would have looked better. It doesn't look as bad on the green, but on the red, I'm not liking it so much. And perhaps he should have made this secondary stripe thicker? If he had made that thicker, that would have been better. And the stripes are also flat. They lack texture next like the stripes are flat and they're juxtaposed to this like this sandy texture so i think what he should do is he should keep this darker texture because that's more reminiscent of sand so you have like a sand texture and then he should change the background texture underneath these colors to resemble a beach towel then that'll help it look a bit rougher and not super flat it would it would give it the texture it very very desperately needs um and then I, I just don't, I, a green, I just, I don't like green on war paints. It, it, mm, it, you can get away with it on some, but it needs the right elements to balance it out. And again, it doesn't look terrible with green, but it's just, a, it's just my own personal peeve of mine. Um, I don't know. Also, I feel like the scaling on the stripes is a bit odd. Like they're too big, so you end up getting like huge, solid parts of the weapon model. But then again, it's depending on the orientation of the stripes. So... Mm. My advice, three things. First, thicken up the secondary color stripes a little bit. Um, perhaps, perhaps narrow it down. Narrow the stripes and increase the frequency of said stripes. They're not so big. That would help. Thicken the secondary stripe. Narrow them and increase the frequency in general. And then give a background texture on this one. So it looks like a beach towel or maybe like cloth, like an umbrella or something, something like something you'd find on the beach that has stripes, like a beach ball or a towel or an umbrella or something, because it's, it's a little flat as it is right now. This sand or stone texture, which I assume sand is very, it's, it's nice. It has the texture it needs and it's balanced out by this smoother, flat texture. But you got to have some texture here because otherwise it's too flat overall. But I mean, hey, for a second war paint two-year gap between the first and the second it's not bad it's it's significantly more effort again that most people tend to put into their war paints these days so i'm not offended by it i like e even if this was put in game i wouldn't be like insulted so and also someone gave a fucking peter hee hee so hold on a moment Well, we're not having a stream today, guys. We're just gonna have Peter Hee Hee's for the next seven hours. So, sorry about that. We're not gonna have any more. Sign me up. No more fucking. Ah! No more. No more workshop review. It's just gonna be endless Peters. This is your doing. It's not. This isn't my choice. You're, you're obviously here just to watch this same dumb meme over and over again, so keep it coming. We don't have to do a workshop review stream at all. No need, no need, no need. Simply. Check DM. Why do I have so many fucking DMs? I'll, I'll open these as well. I'll, ha I'll put them on the list. Many to go through. Also, Lizard.exe subscribe. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. Peter's all the way down. No, I, I would prefer if you guys didn't keep the chain going. Like, at first glance, this just looked like the stock rocket launcher, and it really threw me off. A little bit. But, upon further inspection, it's very obviously not the stock rocket launcher. It's meant to it's meant to be reminiscent of a train locomotive, which is cute. Blue closed hatch, red open hatch. See, I think you could have done something different with this. Perhaps what you should have done is have the hatch open on both and have maybe like a darker, deeper red glow and then like a, a yellowish glow for blue. If you wanted to have that team colored element incorporated into this one, Personally, I don't even think it needs it because it's such a small detail 
that it it's like shell shocker being team colored because it has the red the red trigger and then the the red or the team colored trigger and the team colored sight or not even the trigger the trigger guard the trigger guard is team colored and then the sight is also team colored this bit here and then this bit here are team colored on the on the shell shocker which is, makes no fucking sense so this doesn't even need to have the team team colored option i would just have like maybe the open hatch despite me hating this so much have be like a rare a rare sticker variant or something like a rare option to have the hatch open instead of closed you know and it's not like the rare wacky goofy sticker that's like part of a, a set grid which is just big messy eyesore just like ugh. it's like a nice little subtle detail that you see on like the gentleman skins where you have a rare chance of getting a balloonicorn a balloonicorn crest or something like that smaller detail with a small random element which i think would be cool it's a it's a little it's a nice, it's a nice little detail. It's simple but harmless. Yeah, it's a simple but harmless thing to have a little randomized sticker here between, between it being open and closed. I think that looked nice. I mean, overall, I think, I think he should have done more. It needs more because this is really, really close to stock. Like, he changed the wood to be like, 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 I guess wooden panels making up the, the part of the body of the train, perhaps. That looks nice, but the the metal body is is way too similar to to stock. So I think I I think he should have done something way way different, because even if you look at like if, if you look at the in game train, you it's like it looks like he just took the texture off the train, right? You have like oh I didn't even notice that. that's a nice little detail like the little bit of rust or like a little bit of soot coming down off the bottom that's a nice detail. Okay, I like that. I think perhaps what he should have done is give it some rust like a, like a, or perhaps give it a custom wear where the more it wears um the rustier it gets i think that would look cool. oh the guard looks cool or whatever you call this the guard is nice that looks neat it's like the grill on the front of the train i suppose or the, the cattle guard in the front of the train that's neat i like that that's a nice little detail that's 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 cute and clever but i think you need a little more with the body i think i think you need either like a custom wear where it rusts up i think that would be cool or, um, or maybe just have a bit more rust that, that pops out to the eye a bit. Not much, just a little bit, to make it a little less, to make it more different from stock, I think. It's, it's a very small thing, but I mean, overall, it's good. It's like, I, I would not be offended if I saw this in game. I mean, it's cute. You know, we don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of, like, TF2 themed war paints. We have a lot of, you know, like, kind of war paints that are not really themed on anything. I'm talking about in-game war paints, by the way. We don't have a lot of in-game war paints that are themed for TF2, right? Aside from, like, the Mark II collections. The Mark II collections reference other skins that are already in the game, some of which reference existing in-game stuff, like Civil Servant, Civic Duty, um... Plaid Pod Shotter Mark II, Bovine Blaze Maker Mark II, all of those, perhaps, right? So, I would like to see more stuff like this, not only in game, but also on the workshop where you're referencing in game stuff. Like, you guys remember the uh, the Badlands collection that we went over like a few, like two or three months ago? That was just an entire collection of skins based off of TF2's like core design elements, right? Like Badlands geology and geography. And then like 70s, um, like 70s spy tech, and then um, like other map elements, like like the stone or the rocket on CP Well, things like that. We need more skins like that, right? Because the whole appeal behind a skin, right? And this is like this, so. This is something that people get on me a lot. Is the whole appeal behind a skin is that it's meant to be visually distinct and pop out from the game, right? You want it to be this 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 noticeable thing. But you can still have a noticeable thing and have it blend in with the game and not look too out of place, right? Because the difference between a game like TF2 and CSGO, and I will keep saying this over and over again, is that TF2 is a heavily stylized game. So you have significantly less wiggle room in terms of what you can incorporate into an in-game item because if you don't adhere at just even roughly to that very heavily stylized nature of the game right it's gonna look really really out of place 
Whereas with CSGO, CSGO is a far more generically designed first person shooter that roughly touches on realistic visuals, right? You know, realistic, roughly speaking, human models and map environments. So whenever you're making skins for that game, you have way more wiggle room in terms of what you can slap onto a weapon model, right? Including heavily saturated colors, different designs, and shit like that. Because a game that is more generic and more strongly based in reality, that isn't heavily stylized, you know, just like look around a fucking room or a bedroom. You have a lot of shit that clashes and blends together, right? So in CSGO, you have way more wiggle room in terms of what you can put on a skin. TF2 has heavily st heavy stylization, so you should at least attempt to, to adhere to that whenever you're making an item for the game. Otherwise, it's going to stand out. And a lot of people get on my ass like, okay, wow, you, you only like boring skins that use like dark and drab colors and it's like and they like they'll get all grumpy it's like no i prefer skins that pay attention to the game's art style and just aren't big messy color blobs of hyper saturated neon green and red and pink and whatever that just look really out of place in the game because it's just not something you see right it doesn't obey the stylization of team fortress 2 which is heavily based off of you know lowly saturated pastelly textures with a very distinct cartoony style, and when you violate those things, they look really bad in the entire setting of the game. And what's actually funny, what's really funny, and I use CSGO as the loose example, what's really funny is, hold on, there's a there's a CSGO update last week. CSGO update, they, like, hold on, it was a CSGO stash. They added a new case recently. Who the fuck is calling me? Get the fuck out of here. They added a new case recently, the recoil case, and people are kind of upset. Can I, can I fucking, I don't want to see the market. Take me to the fucking skins, please. Oh, it's, I'm already there. Okay, so what's funny about this case is it took a while, right? You, you have some skins in CSGO that kind of skirt the line between like what's acceptable and what's not acceptable inside of CSGO, but this is the first skin the AK-47 ice coat in, this is the first skin that really doesn't look like it fits in CSGO. This is something straight out of Valorant, right? Or that heavily stylized game, right? So if you take something that is heavily stylized and inject it into a game with a different style, it's gonna look really bad and really out of place. And this skin, it, there's a lot of polarization on the views of this one. Like, some people really love it, but a lot of people fucking hate it, because it just does not look like a CSGO skin, right? It just doesn't really fit, it because it has that style that you would see in a game like Valorant, or perhaps not even, not Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch weapons are very bloated and girthy and bleh, kind of like amorphous blobby messes. I fucking hate the style of Overwatch. It's, Overwatch's visual style is such a fucking mess it's gross to look at i don't even know how anyone can play that game you can't even tell who's on whose team everything is so small and fucking moving around uh and everything just blends together in this big fucking mess of stun locks and flashy attacks and shit oh it's a fucking nightmare anyway i lost the train of thought i lost the train of thought shit where was i going with this fuck i had a, i had a point that i wanted to make right so when it comes to TF2, and this is something I see as well, and, I'm, and perhaps we'll come across an item like this today, what I see in TF2 often is I see people trying to incorporate styled items, or items that use a style from an outside source, or an outside game, and they try to put it inside of TF2, right? Like pixel art, or a cartoony style from another game, or another source of media, like I've seen that that the, the Ink Boy thing, uh, that that the ink the ink boy like it's like the 20s cartoon style thing that zoomers are obsessed with right they try to inject styles like that into tf2 and because it's not the same cartoony style of team fortress 2 it looks really bad and really out of place right it doesn't really fit so you know it just doesn't really work and that should be avoided anyway i like this i'm gonna say yes I'll take it. Oh, what else we got here? Oh, I have, I have many, many tabs open. Uh, let's do let's do something that's not a skin. 
Warlord's Wardrobe. This is kick ass. Oh, it's old. We'll never see it in game. Damn. <laughs> That's a shame. 2016. Never gonna see it in TF2. It's crying fucking shame because uh, Valve is really only interested in adding newer submissions that look like trash. So, damn. We actually have a really, really nice spy set. Oh, it's also part of Frontline and because Valve doesn't do community content from updates anymore. Or, or community-based updates anymore. We're never gonna see Frontline items added to the game. So, that's another shame. Fuck. But, hey, an actual decent item set that looks really good. Like, I like the spy hat. It, even, it looks like that's, like, the logo from his revolver. Which is really cool. The jet, like, this is a really, this is a, just a good spy set. Like, damn, I would love to see this in game, but it's a shame. We'll never see it. It's a shame we'll never see it. it. Sucks. Because that is something you would expect to see in TF2. Looks great. Damn. I will say yes to the item set, not that it will make a significant difference. Because, again, too old, but hey, it looks like something the spy would use. It's, it's, Tailored to his style of character. It looks like he is a French military official. The hat is great. The coat is great. Even the pants are good. It's like, damn, pants. That look good. Fuck. It's unfortunate. We'll never, we'll, we, will ne God, we will never get good items like this ever again. And that, fuck, it's like, a, that is a massive kick in the dick. We're never gonna get good item sets like this again. We're never gonna get hats that fit the style of the game anymore. We're never gonna get good shit in a case ever again. We're only gonna get goofy, wacky, random objects stapled to the player models of the mercs. We're gonna get big color bomb fucking messes of war paints. We're never gonna get fitting stuff for TF2 anymore. Fucking sucks. Fucking sucks. I have zero faith in Valve adding anything appropriate for the game anymore. Huge bummer. Huge bummer. Do you think TF2 will still get a summer hat drop, or is it too late for that now? Um, I think I, I expressed my thoughts on this before, but I will, I'll give the Cliff Notes version of it. So, if Valve decides to add a hat box, they will. They're going to. If Valve decides to add a summer hat box, they will. It, 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 it has been as late as August before. I think 2019's came in August. Or late July. If they decide to add a hat box, it's gonna make them look really fucking bad. Because... It still shows that they care more about monetizing their digital casino instead of fixing the game first. So if they don't fix the game in any noticeable capacity before they huck out another hat box, they're gonna look like fucking assholes. And it's it's and they are gonna do that, and it's gonna piss me off, and it's it's just gonna bump Valve down another rung on the ladder. It's gonna, it's just, it's, but that is exactly what's gonna happen. Sometime within the next month, we're gonna get the summer box. It's gonna be full of shit. Morons are gonna keep opening it and keep giving Valve money despite their game not being in a playable state, which is bullshit. But that's an inevitability. It's going to happen. It's just, that's just how it is. And no, Valve very clearly does not care. <laughs> Valve doesn't care. Alright, let's do... We saw that already. We have that open twice. Okay. On the exact polar opposite of the train spectrum, we have this fucking obnoxious mess. Look how fucking big it is! Why do they have to make hats so big? What's the point? Why do we need this massive fucking thing protruding off of the fucking engineer's head? Can't we scale it down a little bit, guys? We don't need a hat that's twice the size of the engineer's fucking head. My god. Or, or doubles the height of his fucking head. My lord. I mean... It's well modeled, it's well textured, but fuck me, does it look really damn goofy. What happened? What happened? What, why, why are we shifting towards just these really big, cartoony, obnoxious things on top of people's heads? God. <laughs> train hat. Train hat. Yeah, you fucking did it. You made a train hat. It looks really weird. It just, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. It doesn't belong. I hope to God we don't get it. And you know what's funny? What's really funny 
is whenever they make items like this, they can never, ever seem to make a good looking loadout with it. They can never make decent looking example loadouts with their hat. And you would think, you would think, that is the number one priority when you're making an item for Team Fortress 2. That it's going to mesh well with the existing cosmetics we have in Team Fortress 2. And this is the best they could come up with? Really? The, the fucking robot spy pocket cosmetic and then this thing? It just... It, 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 ah! I, I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. They could have done they, it could have done something so much better but instead no big goofy fucking metal blob on top of the engineer's goddamn head it's god god damn dude come on come on if it doesn't look good by itself it's not gonna look good with other stuff in game you are absolutely correct ah workshoppers are trying to inject Fortnite promotions instead of I wouldn't say semi-realistic but TF2 proportions into the game right it's like the overall volume of space that workshop submissions take up has been on a very sharp rise over the past like two years right We've been getting more and more submissions where the cosmetic tends to be bigger than part of the player model. That does not fly in the game because that's gonna fuck up with aim! The hat at least protrudes vertically off the head and not, you know, outward or to the sides. But fuck me, man. No. Oh, no, the, the light is paintable, guys. You gotta have a paintable fucking light. Ah! Las Vegas gift shop hat. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a pretty fitting observation. Holy fuck. Alright, what else we got here? Moving on. This is interesting. It doesn't look right. It, it doesn't look right. I don't... I... What... Hmm. It's... It's, it's weird. It's like you just have chevrons moving around the head. It, you don't... It's like no particle effects in TF2 look like this. No no particle effects are just solid shapes moving like that. And someone just pointed out too many of the arrows moving too fast. It's a, and If you were looking at this in-game, it would be... it's It would just be a, a visual, like, noisy mess whenever it's moving around. And yeah, I understand. Usual effects are meant to be, like noticeable and gaudy but man this is really just not not that good it's uh i think this one's a miss it's just not doesn't it doesn't work well i'm gonna say no yeah if you put the promo video on 0.5 speed there now it looks better that's a bit more tolerable. Yeah, and you have you have too many. It's like you have you have the same you have a, you have a pair of the rotating chevrons on three different axes. So, and they're not and they're all rotating at, at different intervals of their rotation. So when they come, they they don't cross the same time. So as a result, it makes it look really busy. If they kind of like if you go back and look at like subatomic and atomic, those particle effects where you have like the the corks moving around the head, at least those are kind of synced up. And it's only one circle with a kind of a, a particle trail moving behind it. This would look better if they like re reduced it down to like two chevrons or maybe even one and then added like a trail behind it, right? Instead of it being this kind of big messy fuck of shapes moving around the head. I think if they added like a trail and then instead of just having four chevrons, just have one chevron with a long trail. That would be way better. Just do that. There. Done. One chevron with a long tail. Fixed. Right now it's too busy. Too busy too much. Well. <laughs> so it's a bit much, but I mean, it's hey, it's a fro. I like it. Why not? I'm not offended by this. I like it. 
Sure. I mean, we, I mean, we, yeah, we already have the demo man fro, and you can already effectively make a loadout that looks like this using three different cosmetics. But doesn't this exist already? Does it? I don't know if it does. Did someone make this item before? If they did, well, unsurprising because that's the nature of the workshop. Maybe a no shade style. Yeah, if they added a style without the shades, I could, I could go with that. I, I yeah. Also paintable, because why wouldn't you want to have a big fucking pink orb on top of your head? I don't know, I feel like... The texturing or whatever, the shape of the fro is a bit off. A little bit. It's not terrible. It's alright. Yeah, everything on the face looks good, but I think the fro is a bit odd. The fro looks not quite done properly with the modeling. I don't know how they could improve it, though. The modeling of the fro is off. But it's not a bad cosmetic by any means. Pop culture reference number 5,422. Uh, what is this here? Alright, let's see. We have fuck loads of cosmetics. Okay, I'm not covering that war paint. Let's see. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of averse to cosmetics like this. I I don't I don't like it when you're changing the shape of a player model, especially facial structure. It looks a little off. It's not going to impact class recognition at all. It's not going to impact, you know, it's not, you're, you're still going to be able to recognize the spy as the spy, but even subtle changes like this do affect class silhouettes. And if, and each class is very heavily stylized on their own, to be immediately recognizable as this class. You've effectively given him a, the Sa a Saxton Hale facial structure, which just doesn't look like the spy. You've made another character. I don't like the idea of a cosmetic changing a character's appearance into that of a completely different character, right? This is no longer the spy's head, this is a new character's head. I don't think this is appropriate at all. At least if you have the ones that, like, make the engineer haha -ha, or the demo haha -ha, or the medic haha -ha, fat with the big fucking neck, and the medic one hasn't been added yet, it will inevitably be added, because why not? Um, at least those don't impact the major distinctive facial features of that class. They just kind of, like, make the neck look like he's got a problem with the fucking, hem with, the, with his, uh, his, uh, the, the thyroid, you know, like a fucking thyroid problem. Uncle Steve Spy who won't stop looking towards the great school player. That's oh I don't know. I don't know if I yeah, fan of the playground loadout for spy for sure. I don't like this cosmetic. I don't think cosmetics like this are appropriate for the game. You shouldn't change how a class's face looks. At least not too much, right? The only exceptions to this are head replacements, which are mostly relegated to Halloween. Except for the Pyro, who has full head replacements, but even then, they retain a majority of the shape of the Pyro's gas mask helmet, right? Or the, over, the overall shape of the Pyro's head. Full head replacements are kept for Halloween for a very good reason, because they affect how the class actually looks. This is by no means anywhere near that extreme, but it's just... I, I just don't think it's appropriate for the, for the game. I don't like it. Also, another gift sub from NN. Thank you. You are, again, hideously too generous for my lack of content over the past few months. Uh, let's see. Saw that already. Did I look at this one? I don't think I looked at this one. At this point, I, I feel like I've seen... Uh, we're getting into, like, repeat territory. Uh, no. <laughs> no. So it looks like they just took the same colors and particles off of Galactic Gateway and then slapped it onto this really just not appropriately, not appropriate thing for TF2. It's like that, like that snake thing you play with your fingers. It's, it's, it's referencing a real world item. And if you're going to reference a real world item, maybe attempt to make it look like it fits in the game. But this is, in my eyes, simply not appropriate. 
It's also too much. You have the moving snake, you have the particle trail, then you have the star, you have the, of course, because you gotta have it, you gotta have the community sparkle stars coming off the back end, and then a moon every now and again, which, again, makes me believe that they, um, they just took stuff from Galactic Gateway, which would not surprise me. Let me see if this guy actually had a hand in the creation of Galactic Gateway. If he did, it would not surprise me in the slightest. Also, the rest of his cosmetic additions are hideously mediocre. Stick to maps, bud. Seems like you're better at that. Awful. Oh, why? 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 Again. Again. What is this? Like, I swear to God, these people are making hats just to make me mad. What is it? With these big, fucking, goofy, blocky things being slapped on top of the player model and making their head twice as tall. Again, it's like, like I mentioned last time, it's like we have this trend of trying to incorporate zoomer tier game items into Team Fortress 2, like fucking Fortnite, right? You gotta have the goofy, you gotta have the wacky. Does this look like anything you've ever seen before in Team Fortress 2? No. Does this look like anything that you would see stylized for Team Fortress 2? No, you don't see a fucking foam finger on the head. Oh, God. And once again, you know an item is bad when you cannot make a single loadout that looks good with it. It's just so exaggerated. It's so silly. It's like, it's like yes, I understand, haha, TF2 is the hat game, but there is a fucking limit. And we are going way fucking past it. Dial it down! My god, people! This is gonna get added. Guarantee it. Fuck me. So fucking tired of these hats, man. Is that a Tumblr link? People still use Tumblr? I mean, yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Fucking promotional hat. This this is what workshoppers are doing, man. My god. Tone it down, people. Alright, what do we got? Uh let's see here. Lawn maker. Okay. Alright. There we go. Finally some good fucking food. What do we have? We have a hat. That is not doubling the size of the engineer's head, or the height of the engineer's head. We don't have any obnoxious objects protruding from his player model. So that's already two big check marks in my fucking book. And then we have something that looks like the engineer would wear. I mean, we have the safe and sound already, of course. But I mean, hey, we have ear protection and a fucking, like, a, he's, he's a lawnmower. He's a lawnmower. And of course, yeah, it's going to go well with the tractor taunt. And, oh man, you can actually make some decent loadouts with it! Who would have fucking thought? If it looks good out the gate, you're gonna make it look good with other loadouts. Also, there appears to be another hobby. I like the helmet version better. This looks nicer. That looks- I like the helmet version. You can do a lot more with this one. Like that? <laughs> home improvement, anyone? Home in this you've made a home improvement loadout. This looks great! I would love to see this hat in game. This is perfect for the engineer. Thank you. Finally, some good fucking food. I'll take it. Give me that one. Good hats. Thank you. Are the glasses a little big? I don't think so. I, th I don't think the I don't think the glasses. Uh? I don't I don't think the glasses the glasses are that big. I think they're fine. I wouldn't mind a side view though. Is <laughs> that a fucking spy? <laughs> Man, they even made good promo art for it. There you go. Good shit. That's fucking funny. Hey, this is great. It's a good cosmetic. Nice. I don't think the glasses are too big at all. I think it's alright. It's pretty good. It's good shit. Finally a decent hat. My god. Finally some good fucking food. Fuck me. Let's see. What else we got? Seen that one before. Seen that one before. Seen that one before. I mean, yay. Another, another animal companion. Yeah, because let's give the scout a cat, because scout likes cats, I guess. 
Yay, it's just another another cute animal that we're just gonna put. Based off real life cat, guys. I wanna have my pet in the game. No. No. No more no more animal companions, please. I'm so fucking tired of these. It's an old cosmetic, so I think we've escaped this one from ever getting put in the game, thank god, but man, I'm fucking over it. Like, can we just have the bag? Does it have to have a cat? Just have the fucking bag. The cat's dead. Well, rest in peace, kitty. But... Oh, of course. Oh, okay, so this is... Of course, of course. He's made multiple... He really wants his cat in the game. Like, I mean... Yeah, understand. Sucks to lose a pet. I understand. Yeah, you want maybe want to immortalize the pet. Look at photos. You know, that's like enough with trying to get the cat in the game. I don't think it's appropriate. It's kind of weird. You know, it's a little weird I'm trying to get a, pa a cat, a pet who's passed on immortalized in the game. It's not, it's, mm, doesn't sit well. Like the bag is fine. It doesn't need the, it didn't need the fucking cat. Just, we don't need it. Don't need it. What else we got? What else we got? Probably seen this before, probably. Did I look at this one? Yeah, I looked at this one. Uh, let's see. Uh, did I see this one? I don't know. Okay, I don't know if I saw this one. I don't think I did. If I did, oops, looking at it again because I don't remember if I've seen this one before. Hey, it's a fucking knife based off of the intelligence case. The briefcase. That ah, looks really cool. I like it. I, th I, don't, I don't think it needs the blood. I think you can do without it because the blood appears after you stab someone anyway, depending on your game settings. So, um, I would say Ixnay the blood. But otherwise, this is great. I love this. This is it. I would totally. I would. I would. I would use this for a spy knife. This. This is kick ass. It's simple. It's clean. Good colors. It's nice. Yeah, much like the um, the Hapsatoy, she also gets blood on it after you kill someone with it. I think the spy knife does as well. But um, I don't. I don't think it needs the blood by default. I think. Um, I think it. I, I think it's fine without it. So yeah, I would say yes. I would say favorite this one. And hell, I'm going to give it a fucking award. Wholesome. Give award. I like that skin. I need your opinion. I don't think I've looked at this one. Have I seen this one on stream yet? No, I've not seen it. Or have I seen this one? Did it, and, this was uploaded on June 29th. I didn't know. I did. I have not looked at that one on stream yet. So I will in a moment. Uh, tea bagged. Ha ha. It's the the British flag. Uh, with, with my 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 violent hatred for the Brits. I'm sorry. I just if, you, if you're British, I cannot fucking stand you by default. Fucking hate the Brits. Your food is not. You you can't season food. You eat nothing but potatoes and ground beef. Everything you eat is bland as shit. Your cities smell like seagull crap. And, I don't know, you, your, your accent bothers me. I don't, I'm not a fan of the British. I don't like the British. However. I think it's too many... It's not quite stylized right. I think... So you, ha you have this, you have this, right? So let's look at this. Let's look at this and let's compare it to Freedom Wrapped, right? Freedom Wrapped doesn't just take the American flag and then slap it on a war paint, right? It takes style. It takes different styled elements from the American flag, like red and white stripes, and then white or white stars and a blue background, and it uses those elements and then rearranges them to be appropriate for a war paint. Then it looks good. Then you have this, where you just take the British the British flag. You don't really adjust the colors. You don't. You don't give it any texture, and then you just slap it onto a war paint. And as a result, it just translates very poorly in the game. You have scaling issues to where, in some instances, you probably couldn't even tell it's the fucking British flag. I mean, you have large portions of the weapon model that's either red or blue or white, so there's that problem. It doesn't look seamless at all. I suspect that it's not, so that's another issue. 
Can you look at the map? I, I, Zyp, I can't look at maps, man. I, I cannot, I can't review maps on this because I don't know how, I, I can only review how they look, but I, I can't play on them. I, I, there's no point reviewing, or in reviewing a map because like map screenshots don't do it and don't do it justice. Like I, it's not, not appropriate for this. But, um, yeah, I think what they should have done is they, they should have gone the way, they should have gone the way of freedom rap where they take elements that you see in the british flag and then adjust them for um and then adjust them for a war paint and then this would have been far more successful the concept is great i would love to see other flags adapted into the game perhaps that would be cool ones you would probably you know, you know like a french flag for spy and then like a german flag for for medic and other you know and just things like that totally fine russian flag for heavy we, i'm surprised we don't have more you know, USSR themed items for heavy aside from the Iron Curtain, right? Why don't we have more of that in the game? If you properly stylize things for the, for the game, you can be really successful with it. But um, they failed to do that here, and therefore I don't think it's really appropriate. So if they adjusted the colors, if they styled it to fit a war paint so the scaling's better, so it kind of looks like, oh, this could be the British flag, but it's not exactly the British flag, then it would be a lot better. You know, Scotland for demo. So, yeah, I think that w that was probably the better way to go instead of just doing it that way. Why is it whenever I stream people just inundate my fucking DMs? I don't understand it. It's like, it's like they take, they take the notification, they take the notification that I'm live as like the excuse to finally message me. Do message me when I'm not streaming, please. My God. I'm not gonna answer till I'm done. Trans flag for scout? No. Yeah, we already have the fucking Vorp ride flag. Is that not enough? Let's avoid injecting politics into TF2. Fireman's formals. Another old set of items. We'll never see them in game. Looks good. Damn, another great set of items. Sign me up. The helmet looks awesome. Look at this shit. That's fucking awesome. That is great. It's like a combination of the vintage Merryweather and then the, the fireman helmet for Pyro. It's like you put those two hats together. It looks really fucking neat. The color's great. Fits for the pyro. You can obviously make a lot of great loadouts with it. I'm sure. This whole getup is really fucking cool. I love the like the old. There's like a 1920s fireman load, like fireman getup, which is cool. You mean yeah, you can make a whole bunch of neat loadouts with it. This is fucking cool, man. This is awesome. Sign me up. I want it. Damn. Then you have the two styles, of course. The coat. The coat is probably the coolest thing. You can make a lot of neat loadouts with this. This is awesome, man. It's a shame. It'll it, it's a shame. It's so old that it will never be. It will never be put in game. Fucking sucks. It's really unfortunate. But man, it's a great item set. Sign me up. Hell, there's no awards on this. I'll give it one. We'll do fucking. We'll do. We'll do like we'll do poetry. Do poetry on this one. Good shit. Good item set. R is going to play tonight, so if you join me, you'll have a chance to review it. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be playing with Aaron tonight, so yeah, I'll be able to I'll be able to play on the map. It's just that it's it's like it's not that I don't want. It's not like I like if there were an easy way to review maps on stream, I would do it. But just looking at in-game screenshots, all I can say is, well, that looks nice. I have no idea how it plays. I have no idea how it feels to like move around as different classes. I wouldn't be able to like test for bugs or playability issues, so I can't really review maps with just by looking at it, you know? So that's the reason why I don't do it. This is a great item set. Fuck me. I would I would I just it, it sucks. Oh wait, there's another helmet. There's two helmets. It's like a Japanese fireman helmet. Or Chinese fireman. I like it. Obviously you can make a lot of good loadouts with it. Was white the right color? Yeah, I guess so. I guess white was the right color. It's alright. This is good. I like I like the other one more. I like the other helmet more, but this is still quite nice. 
It looks good. Yeah, good shit. I, I, I honestly have like no, no strong critiques for this one. I think it's great. Would love to see it in game. Never will, because we'll never get nice items like this ever again, because Valve refuses to add nice item sets, refuses to add items that actually look good on the Mercs. No, we will only and always and forever get dumb fucking foam finger on the heads of the Mercs. We'll never see nice shit like this ever again. Fucking sucks. Let's see here. Can I get your criticism on my old war paint? Oak trunk. Sure, I can do that. But before I do that, I gotta piss. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We are back. All right. <laughs> the chair doesn't collect anime figurines, therefore chair greater than Zesty. Well, God forbid my taste in media does not align with yours. Honestly, since the last batch of items got huge backlash, we might, I repeat, might see better items, maybe, just praying at this point. Honestly, I don't think we will, because, as we all know, Valve doesn't really give a shit. So, it, they're just gonna keep adding whatever they, they personally like, which is just... I mean, it sucks. It just, it just sucks. It, it sucks we're never gonna get, like, we're never gonna get good hats anymore. We're just gonna get like like another fishing set, except this time for the heavy. We're gonna get foam finger for medic. We're gonna get goofy sentry hat number seven for engineer. It's just, ah, please God, I'm I just again don't like the hats. Don't open the cases. Or if you there's one hat on the one hat in the case, wait until it's thirteen cents on the community market and then buy it. Don't give these fuckers your money. Anyway, uh, Oak Trunk for both teams, red and blue. So right off the bat, the colors are nice. The colors are good. I'm noticing something odd here. So why does this have like the Oak Stripes yet none of the other weapon models do? It's odd to me. Yeah, the stripes only showed up on the rocket launcher, but not on the shotgun? Is that intentional? Like, I, I would expect, like, if you're going for, like, an oak trunk, right? You would want it the, the darker portion to look like bark, right? So here, here are the stripes. Yeah, you have, you have major scaling issues with this one. So, yeah, you, you can barely make out the stripes here. So first of all, on... Oh, God, where do I start with this one? Oh, Christ. Okay, so this is probably the best image to use. So, first off, um, it looks like you have what is meant to be, like, the outer bark. Yeah, like, the outer bark for this one, right? And then you have, like, the the meat of the, of the tree on the inside. So, what I think you should do is... Like, the colors are alright. The colors are good. You've, you've got those mostly in the right spot. 
what you need to do is you need to work on your bark texture heavily because right now it doesn't really look like bark it looks like the rings inside of the tree trunk so that doesn't quite mesh so i think this bark texture should look more like actual tree bark you know where you have like striations in the actual like you know pieces of the bark on the tree that would be a good thing and keep this level of low contrast on that detail to where it almost looks like a solid color but it has just a little bit of texture to work with and then take the rings you have on the bark texture and then put it on the lighter texture that's what you need to know that's what you need to do no i know for a fact i've not reviewed this war paint on stream if i have well fuck i'm doing it again i'm giving this guy advice Take those rings and then put it on the actual meat, like the actual inside of the trunk texture, because that's where you see the, the age rings inside of a tree. So that's what you should do. And then give those rings a lot more contrast than what you have here. Because if you look, even if you just look at this weapon model and this weapon model, the contrast between the ring and then the background is so small that you can barely see them even inside your in-game screenshots you can barely see these stripes they they're, they're are they mad they might as well not even be there so yeah put those rings on the inner trunk texture jack up the contrast between them the thickness is probably fine I, you need to probably use a war paint base or adjust the scaling because they get blown up significantly and don't quite let it look quite right um and then, uh, and then make this darker texture look act like look like actual tree bark, and then you're it's it'll be more in the right direction. But as I've said many times before, you've already done the number one thing that most people fuck up immediately. You got the colors right. You have colors that look like they belong in the game. They're not hyper saturated neon eyesores. It, it, the colors are good. Now you got to do the texture work. That's step two. Colors first, then the texture work. You're on your way. You're on your way. It can be improved. You're getting there. Still one of my favorite cosmetic sets for Pyro. Mr. Death. This reminds me of Jinro. A little bit. How old is this? 2019? Sure. Sure. See, I have I have a gripe with cosmetics like this that occlude a majority of the player model. Yeah, you can still see the Pyro's lower half, but a majority of the team-colored upper half is occluded by a big thing of black. So it doesn't really look that good. I think they should incorporate more team-colored elements into this upper body cosmetic. Otherwise, at a glance, you're going to be greeted with a big... Boom of black. You're like, whoa, what team is this on? It's going to take a lot longer to register what team he's on when this happens. Especially when you wear other cosmetics like this get up here, where it's hard to immediately tell what the color it is. So you need to add some details onto this 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 vest that are that are team colored, and then I think that's better. The headpiece, however, are, is really cool. The headpiece is neat, the eyes are cool. Definitely it it, it, it has that spy tech feel that you would expect to see from other Team Fortress 2 cosmetics, right? It's like, you, whenever you have, like, high-tech stuff in Team Fortress 2, you have two different things. You have spy tech, right? And then you have, like, like 1930s, 1940s sci-fi, like you see with the bison or the, the cow mangler and shit like that. Those are the two types of tech you have. And the face pretty closely adheres to that level of spy tech you might see coming out of something like, like night vision, red goggles or something. And yeah, you can make a decent number of loadouts with it. It's not, it's pretty good. So the helmet is good. The hat, the hat, I mean, yeah, it's okay. The hat's good. You, you can, you can work with it. Yeah. I think it needs something. I, th I think it needs it needs a little something. It's 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 just solid black. I think it needs a little it needs a little detail, like a little bit of color detail on it. Maybe a pyro emblem or or an emblem or or some kind of additional thing to not just make it like a to to help it not just be a solid black helmet. Yeah, like a logo or a colored stripe or something because you have this 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 stripe down the middle 
but it's it's not that distinguishable from the darker almost the same shade of the gray so i think if you could incorporate this adjusted pyro emblem somewhere on the helmet it doesn't need to be yellow it could be like silver or something just to kind of break up the amount of black you have then i think that would be a lot better it's just a minor nitpick on me the hat the hat's well modeled it looks good you just gotta you gotta break up big solid patches of color like that and if you and that's that that that, that takes me back to the vest right so that takes me back to the vest right so if you look at the if you look at the default pyro model, it's not just a solid color. He has a lot of stuff breaking up his red suit. He has his sash, he has his grenades, he has his gloves holding his flamethrower in front of him. It breaks up that solid color enough without occluding too much of it to make him, you know, indistinguishable from one team or the other. When you have a big solid mass of one color covering the entire player model, it gets lost, right? You lose a lot of the detail, you lose a lot of these things that help kind of give Pyro his look, right? Because you could put this vest on any other player, on any, on any other player model, and kind of get that same effect, where it's just, the, just a generic gray vest, right? That kind of fucks with the amount of team identifying and class identifying things that you would kind of need. So, I think you need to incorporate some other colored elements into this as well. Because, again, you have a big solid color thing covering a player model without something breaking it up. It's it's too it's too amorphous. It, need, it needs to be broken up, right? Like, you have small details. Like, you have the silver straps. You have the buttons on this. And then you have, like, the smaller details on the pockets. I think maybe what you could do, option, instead of these black stripes, make those team colored, right? Like a darker team color. That would look nice. That would help really break it up and get some kind of continuity between his arms, right? Because you have red, solid black, and then red. You can have red, red stripes with black, and then red there. You have more continuity across the entire upper half of the Pyro's torso. It would look a lot better. Not to mention, the lower half of this cosmetic, guess what? Incorporates more of that gray. But because you have this gradient here, where you go from like a cleaner part of the Pyro's bodysuit to a more soot-covered part of the bodysuit, that helps break it up a little bit. And the knee pads don't get kind of lost inside of the rest of the Pyro's suit. Whereas here, you're kind of, you're just lost in a sea of gray. You gotta add something to break it up. Perhaps team colored stripes would have been a lot better on this one. Uh, or, or, or something. Something else that gives it more color than just gray and then dark gray. Well, and I think that'd be good. But overall, this is a really neat item set. I, if it were, even if it were added into the game as is, I wouldn't necessarily be offended. However, I'm gonna downvote the suit. The hat and helmet, the, 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 the head and helmet are good. The suit needs, it needs something to break it up. It needs something to break it up. But overall, pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think Arthur wants me to review his new unusual effects, so we can do that. I, I, I don't remember. I don't think I reviewed this one because this was uploaded on the 29th, and I wasn't, I wasn't there. I was, I was. I, so I know I haven't looked at this one on stream yet. But man, this unusual effect is such a breath of fresh fucking air. My god, it it is so heavily reminiscent of older unusual effects like sunbeams or death at dusk or morning glory from the uh, from the top for the tough break end of the line update. You have an unusual effect that is not this big hyper saturated color bomb with community sparkles and random shapes thrown in, right? It is this really neat looking environmental effect with like a glowing sun you have the rotating clouds the birds are a neat little detail too it's not super busy it's not this big flashy fucking mess like neon purple and ghosts and cum and and fucking and stars and, and birds and triangles whoa you know it's it's not this fucking assault on the eyes it looks really good this is a neat fucking unusual effect man you did really good work on this one and yeah, I get like, haha, that his head is up in the mountains, right? And then you have the fucking towering pillar, one of the few hats, right? It's like it's like the, the towering pillar was like the end. It was the end of the fucking line, right? That like that, that was that was the beginning of the end. It's like people see towering pillar, haha, towering pillar. Let's make all hats that big. Woo! No, 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 no. That's like that should be like the exception, not the norm, right? But now it's becoming the norm. But still a funny combination, unfortunately. If they were to ever add this unusual effect in game, it would be locked to whatever case it comes in, which would just be full of shitty hats that you couldn't, un you would unfortunately never 
be able to make a, a combination like this because they'll never add old unusual effects to the universal rotation ever i don't know why they do that why not just make the effects available in all cases so we can get old hats with the new effects just just do that instead of restricting the new effects to two months right if you're gonna do that and only have it be in the tiered crates it's like no and no one wants those fucking hats just except for like a handful like 10 maybe like, maybe 20 hats out of the past six cases have been, in my eyes, perfectly acceptable for the game. Probably not that low, but it's a minority. It's a minority. But this this is a grand unusual effect. I love it. Favorite, award, wholesome, next. Very reminiscent of the old of the old school unusual effects. I would love to see this in game. It's fucking great. Honestly, one of the best effects we've seen. In a very long time on the workshop. Immaculate work, my friend. Immaculate work. Because you did the concept and then uh, these guys did the, the making of the particles. Good shit. Good, good shit. Monkey's War Paint. You updated this one. What'd you change? Is it bad that I don't immediately recognize what you changed? Uh, because... I don't remember what you changed. I mean, it still looks really good, but I don't. I, I can't pick out what's different. Help. It looks great, though. I mean, I love that it's just... You added added new mapping? Ela uh, monkey, elaborate, my friend. Oh, you added new mapping. Okay, you said in your message. Okay, so you added... You added new mapping... So it looks like you're getting more of the gold details than before, like on the on the edges and rims of the weapon. So yeah, you get a lot more a lot more of the gold. It's helping break up these darker textures of the wood and then like the the clothy marble, I guess, or the metal, whatever that's supposed to be. Yeah, you get a lot more of these gold details that are really helping break up the the, the darker colors, which I think is really nice. It's uh, you've you've significantly improved this war paint. And yeah, and but you made you improved somehow, you made the back scratcher look better. Because I remember the um the fuck. Remind me what this pattern is called. Um I can do it. What's the pattern called? Come on. Shit. What's it called? Fuck. I can't remember the fucking name. Oh, filigree, thank you. Filigree. Yeah, you, the filigree used to be on the head of the back scratcher, and now it's on the handle, and that looks a lot better. Yeah, so you've you have now now it's coming back. You have you have definitely significantly improved this one because you have the filigree in places where it, it looks a lot better, and you have more of these gold details that help that help break up the um the darker colors. So this looks really 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 good. Like man, put this in game and make it elite grade. <laughs> like like this this would be. As, as the Zoomers say, a juicer, a biggin. People would chill out for this one a lot. It's really good. It's too good. Valve won't add it. Sorry, Valve won't add it. It's too good. They will. You will. You will only ever get. Um, you'll only ever get shit like. Let's see. Let's do the first. You'll only ever get like this. You'll only. You'll, my God. We'll only ever get war paints like this. God, this fucking hurts to look at. Jesus. Oh my God. Is this your first submission? Okay, yeah. I mean, I'll cut you some slack for your first submission, but Jesus. Let's help this guy. Okay, so first of all, way too bright. You gotta tone down the colors on this one a lot. You have flat white. You have, you have nothing but flat colors. Zero texture. So you desperately need to darken something here. You gotta, you gotta have some darker element to help balance this out. You can't use flat white. It's way too hypersaturated. It looks would look really, really bad in game. You've done the pet peeve of every other workshop showcase where you put the weapon over one of the textures you used, which does which gives us no idea as to how it would look in game. It's 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 poor and needs a lot of improvements. The only color that looks good on this is the baby blue. So what I think you should do is okay, so perhaps just get rid of the repeating balloonicorns altogether. It's another mediocre sticker war paint. And perhaps instead of just having repeating balloonicorns, perhaps make different textures based off of the balloonicorn. Like you could have the blue be a leather texture like the balloonicorn's saddle. You could have 
this pink texture probably more closely match. Actually, instead of pink, just um just do the um do the the, the tan color. Yeah. Instead of this this purple pink, do the tan color on the balloonicorn, which is meant to be like the the lighter elements of like the face and give that like maybe a, a subtle furry texture, right? So you have leather, you have fur, and then um as like your tertiary, you could keep that as uh, you could you should, you can make that a darker element, like perhaps black or like a darker gray to to have like you have like the eye and then the nostril kind of contrasting there. So you could give that as your darker element and then axe out these fucking repeating stickers and then if you wanted to use a war paint base that has a sticker right use a war paint base that has a sticker and then you can have like a balloonicorn sticker on there right like um like you, you could use park pigmented that has the the park pigmented logo on there you could have the balloonicorn on there instead of just repeating balloonicorns all over this thing that would be a step in the right direction because this is way too visually messy, way too bright, and it lacks texture overall, it's way too flat. So, give it texture, rework these textures to perhaps match elements of the Balloonicorn and not just the colors and this, and, and don't use colors that don't exist inside of TF2's color palette either, like this, um, like this gumdrop purple. Ugh. Ugh. No. And then, um, fix your showcases, because dear god. Yeah. Do that. And it'd be a lot better. Please. Because this looks really bad. As it is. Anyway. That is so fucking bad. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Links. 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 What do we got next? Let's do... Whiskey Lover's Waistcoat. Oh, well. 2018. Never gonna see it in game. Fuck me, man. It's, it sucks. We have so many older cosmetics that we're just never gonna get in game. Because they're too old. Just fuck. Valve does have this tag that they put on items that are on the workshop. They have like a they have a backlog of items they've tagged as potential items to put into Team Fortress 2. But um for some reason it's never it's never good items like this. Skin looks like a pony mob from 2013. Yeah, it does. Yeah, this this is a neat this is a neat fucking loadout. This is a neat item for demo. Like like yeah, you could perhaps expect him to be a bartender because he drinks whiskey and you could make a lot of really fucking cool loadouts with this. Dude, like this hat, this this vest with the hat with no name, man. That'd be fucking sick. Or the fucking um the 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 the, the uh what's the Django hat? The the, the you yeah, have the Django hat with this. That'd be fucking awesome with this cosmetic, man. That'd be like straight out of the fucking Tarantino movie. That'd be great. Not sure why you'd have the track pants with this one, but not exactly a good selection of, of options for your loadouts here. But man, this is a great cosmetic. Does it have the watch too? Okay, I like the watch. There you go. Frontier Justice, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, get, get that with this fucking cosmetic. That would look fucking awesome. Can, can we please have cosmetics like this again? Fuck! Ah, uh, like just give us more stuff. Valve, please. It's not hard. It's not hard, man. It's not hard. No more bouncy head items. No more goofy jiggle bone shit. No more crap protruding from the player model's heads. Come on, give us stuff like this. It's like, I feel like, I've, I've said this in videos before, man. It's a no fucking brainer to put items like this in the game, man. People would be lining up to open up fucking cases, dude. They would not fucking quit it with good shit like this. But no, they give us mittens and then a Christmas tree times five and an elf hat. Fuck, dude. Come on. Give us stuff like this. It's good. It's very, very good. The community wouldn't be nearly as annoyed at Valve if we actually got cases full of good stuff like this. Yes! Like, it's one thing for Valve to be hideously negligent towards maintaining their game, right? And then still continuing to ask us for money via microtransactions. That's their major fuck-up, right? Major, major fuck-up. Next major fuck-up is if the only thing they're going to pay attention to, which is adding cosmetics items to the game, is horrifically implemented, what are you doing? At least put some effort into the one thing you still that you're still willing to acknowledge with TF2 
And that's the cosmetic items you put into it. At least pay attention to that. My fucking god, Valve. Good lord. It's funny too because I place most of the blame on Valve for the dog shit that we've been getting. But of course the workshop feeds into their hand because why bite the hand that feeds you and keeps making some more of the same stupid gaudy crap. So. Come on, man. Honestly, just don't care for full updates anymore. All I care about is one good seasonal case. I just... I just want good hats. I just want good hats, man. Please, just give us something that's worth wearing. Something worth fucking buying. Because lately, like, there's just been nothing worth getting. Maybe one or two decent items out of the Halloween case last year. Maybe three decent items out of last year's summer case, man. Just... Give us something, please. But fix your game first. Unusual effect? Rainbows? Whoa! Oh! Oh, no, I'm not reviewing that one. See, here we go. This is what I was talking about earlier. I think I reviewed this one on stream before, but just to give a brief example of what I've been talking about before, don't take cartoony styles that exist in other media and then put it inside of a game that is heavily stylized like Team Fortress 2 because it's just not going to fit. It's not going to look right. You know, this would be cool if you were to put it inside of another game that has like a comic book style, sure. You have something like the Op Boom in CSGO which has that comic booky style on the weapon that looks fine, because again, CSGO has this very generic look to which many things can be adapted and put into the game, but TF2's heavy stylization just does not mesh that well with unusual effects like this. It's a neat concept, it's well executed, they, they adhere to like the comic book style with the halftone dots, it looks neat, but for Team Fortress 2, it's just, I mean, like, even the animations look really good, man. Like, even if they put this in game as is, it looks great. It's very well made. But it's just not the right style. It's not the right style. You know what? I'll still vote yes on it, though, because it looks nice. Like, I, I wouldn't be offended if they put this in. Like, even, like, that's that's something else, too. That's, that's, that's actually pretty cool. They made the effect look so good that the different cartoony style manages to work where i remember there was a there was a there was a pixel art thing that i saw before hold on i want to see if i can find that i i think i looked at this before just complete the unofficial set no the fact no the the fact that this cosmetic only goes well with two existing cosmetics that are just slapping more dumb engineer shit on this model. Just another more random gaudy crap jutting out of the player model. Dog shit. No thanks. No, don't put this in game. Tired of tired of cosmetics like that. Give us something good, please. Hold on. There was a, there was a workshop submission. Uh, let me see if I can find it. There was a an unusual effect. This one. This is what I'm really talking about here. This doesn't look good. The frame rate of the animation does not match TF2's. It uses pixel art sprites that are very, very much not, rem very unreminiscent of the style of the game. Also, the verticality on it is insane. My god, tone it down. It's way too busy. That's what I'm talking about when you're incorporating other art styles into TF2's heavy stylization. Pixel art doesn't look right in TF2. Death by Disco looks odd and out of place. The colors are alright, but. Pixel art has no place inside of TF2. It doesn't fit. The closest you can get is a digi camo, like on the sand cannon. Read it. If you would like to learn how to make your own particle effects, you can follow my guide. I don't think I'm going to follow your guide. <laughs> Death by Disco is sick, you hush. But think, the thing, here's the thing. Sorry. You know what's different between that one and Death by Disco? The animation frame rate looks good. It's not this jerky, low frame rate, you know, pixel motion. You have smooth rotation of the sprites, and then the sprites have very limited animation. It's just like the simple back and forthing of the skeletons. So it's not that visually messy, right? So it looks 
infinitely better than that coin one. It looks infinitely better than that coin one, but it still uses pixel art that I don't think belongs in the game. But it does, I will agree, look, doesn't look terrible. Coyote, you fucked up. You fucked up. You forgot the M. You forgot the M. Fuck off with Oomphy. I'm so fucking tired of this Zoomer lingo. Oomphy. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, by the way. You are too kind. Big Iron Grenade Launcher. Did I look at this one before? Did I, I don't think I looked at this. Big Iron. Big, this, this is, did I look at this? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. This is cool. Holy shit. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. Sticking with colors, sticking with textures that just look fucking kick ass in the game. Man, this is badass. This is awesome. Yes, favorite. Thank you. You have, this is a great fucking skin, man. This is sick. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. I love the little detail of the emblem, the icons on the back, man. Oh, it's, oh, just, come on, man. Valve, please, buddy, come on, just, argh. Fuck. This is really well made. You got two styles. I would assume, like, I would assume this could be team colored, right? You have, like, you could have, like, this for blue, and then this for red. <laughs> come on! And yeah, we're never getting items like this because Valve doesn't add uniquely mapped, uniquely mapped skins anymore. They will only ever add war paints, which fucking sucks. Damn. Damn. It's good. It's so good, but we'll never get it. It hurts. It's 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 it like. Seeing stuff, and like I said, I said this earlier, it's like seeing stuff like this is just a huge kick in the fucking dick, man. Because you got, you have so many good, like, uh, workshop editions. And Valve just doesn't add them. They just keep adding the dumb shit. Just, oh, they just, again, it's like, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-fucking, Valve, hire me. God, I could make you so much money if by just redesigning your fucking case system. By putting in decent items, I can earn you millions more. Because no one wants fucking shitty seasonal hats anymore, man. They want shit like this. It looks good. Ah. Oh. Fuck, man. Why do I look like the guy from the Waco Siege? You, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Ugh. What else we got here? Saw that one. Well traveled. What's this one? Well traveled. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 So it's good. It's good, but it has some flaws. It's good with flaws. The leather, the leather is, what's the word I'm looking for? The leather is too is too embossed like it looks like you generated this using a um like a, like a texturing preset inside of photoshop or illustrator or something like that so instead of it looking like painted or instead of it looking like a tf2 texture you end up with this th weird kind of 3d thing and that doesn't look really good in tf2 it's also really finely detailed like if you if you look at um if you look at existing leather textures that we have for tf2 skins let me pull these up real quick i'll show you what i'm talking about so when you're doing leather for team fortress 2 you want it to be you want it to have that appearance as if though it were painted 
So here is here's our calf skin here, right? So you don't have you don't have a lot of these finer pore details. They're more they're more blended and kind of you know they look a little more like brush strokes rather than something that's kind of more photorealistic or something taken out of a 3D program, right? And you have you have it's not quite a solid color like you have like these striations you have like this wear and tear on it, which is perhaps not necessary for this. But I think if you're going to try to do leather inside of Team Fortress 2, you need to have it more closely emulate the the, the hand the hand painted nature of TF2 textures. And then you'll get something that's a, a, that's significantly more successful, right? And you want to get about as detailed as this, right? You notice you don't have a lot of these poor textures. You have a lot, you have like nice patches of these solid colors kind of meshing and blending together. Like, like they took sponges and kind of dabbed paint all around it, but ended up with that nice leather texture. So that's, that's something you want to go for when you're working with leather in TF2. You nailed the color. I think the colors of the leather are really, really nice. You just got to rework that texture a bit so it doesn't look like it was generated using like a 3D a 3D preset of some kind. I think that's the biggest flaw with this war paint, is you don't want to go for those 3D embossed looking textures. The next thing is you have this wood texture, which looks like you just generated some kind of turbulent noise. You generate some kind of turbulent noise inside of Photoshop or something, and then, and then you applied the color. The colors of the wood are fantastic. But the turbulent noise you used is really noisy, and it's too noisy. It's too it's too busy and too messy. So um, you need to simplify the texture a bit to make it actually look more like wood. So you have plywood here, or not plywood. Sorry, you have wood. Yeah, you have a wood grain texture here. This is the one from the homemade heater. So you have this wood grain texture. You notice it's a lot more simple, way, way less swirly like this. So you, you, you need to turn down the turbulence of your noise level so you get more linear striations like this. So it actually looks like wooden planks, you know? That would help make this war paint look less busy overall because right now with a combination of these three textures, the plaid, the leather, and then the really swirly wood, it's a little bit too busy. So if you simplify this wood texture, and then also, you know, scale it up a little bit, then it would look a lot better. Where is, where's the lumber from down under? Yeah, so if you get more, perhaps not, perhaps not quite like planks, but notice you have like these nice linear striations. I know what you're trying to do with this turbulent noise. And this turbulent noise, you're trying to emulate like knots in the wood. Natural wood does not look like this. You've kind of effectively created like an oil spill texture with this. You know, polished wood doesn't look like that. Polished wood has, like, a lot more thicker, wider, and in some cases more linear, or in, more, in many more cases, these more linear oval details, like, with cut with cut wood, right? If you're going with the grain, you know, that's what you want to get, right? You get more tighter twists and twirls like, this, twirls like this if you kind of cut diagonally to the grain or horizontally to it, right? If you're cutting across, like, the trunk of the tree. You know, but even then, you wouldn't get that much detail in the swirls, right? So, simplify the wood texture down. That's the next thing. And then, I think the... I personally, I think the plaid is okay. I kind of like it. It's, 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 it's a little too finely detailed, perhaps? You know? You know, you did the thing where you, you showcased it on one of the existing textures, but at least you, you darkened it. You darkened it enough. Right? You darkened it enough so it's not terrible in the showcase. You, uh, scale up the plaid and then... Yeah, scale up the plaid and then this fine, these finer diagonal details here, maybe get rid of them. Get rid of them all together so you just have this plaid and you can let the textures of the leather and the wood give this the depth it needs. Because with these very small details, with these small details and these small details, it's too much. And not to mention, small details like this are, are very poor. They, they, they don't look good inside of... They don't look good inside of Team Fortress 2. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with these fucking Discord links? My god. 
Discord links are those those links are not working for whatever reason. Anyway, so simplify the plaid pattern. The color, like, you, you nail the color. The colors and all of this is they're really good. And even that looks really good at higher wears too. You have this darker, dingier, like 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 it got wet or messy higher wear, which is great. It looks really nice. Um, honestly, the stickers. You need less of them. Fewer stickers and scale them up a little bit. Fewer stickers, scale them up a little bit, and then you're good. The stickers are the, are the, the smallest issue with this. Because it's meant to look like um, the, the like the AK Jet Set from CSGO, right? Like, uh, like, like, do it the way the AK Jet Set does it. Like, CSGO, stash. So, fucking... Uh, AK, where's the jet set? Jet set, jet set, jet set. Uh, ch -ch -ch. There you go. AK jet set. Yeah. See, notice how the AK jet set does it. They're more, they're more random, right? You don't want, you don't want like a nice repeating pattern with stamps like this. You want them kind of in random spots on the leather texture, right? So they're not this evenly spaced out thing. When you have evenly spaced out stuff. It's with stickers. It doesn't look super good because it ends up being too busy, and and you get weird placements with random orientations. And if you're gonna have a random orientation, you need either a really nice, seamlessly repeating pattern, or you need to kind of double down on that level of randomness and incorporate randomly placed stickers like this. Then I think it would be far more successful, right? And that's why, but not so busy that it ends up being a sticker bomb, because sticker bomb war paints look very, very poor inside of Team Fortress 2. So, with those adjustments, this would be a 10 out of 10. Because right now, it's like a 6.5 a or a 7 out of 10 war paint. If it was put in game as is, a lot of the details in this would be really, really lost to lower setting computers or lower end computers that can't handle the level of detail inside of these textures. But, um... I think if you make the adjustments that I suggested, it would be a lot better. Is the custom wear also wood? That looks odd. I wouldn't make the custom wear also wood. That just adds even more detail it doesn't need. And just make it like dirt. Like dirt or grime or mud or something. Like the briefcase got like dropped in the mud or it got dirty when it was being handled inside of the airport. Something along those lines. And then I think it'd be perfect. Don't make the custom texture another texture. That's a problem. A lot of people do that. I'm noticing that. I'm, I'm noticing that now too. A lot of people, like here, here, here's an example of a custom texture that does it right. And this is when this is one of Mars War Paints. So, a, a really good way to handle custom textures is to not have an entirely new texture, but to have the 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 scrapes and scratches have different shapes, right? and not just reveal another texture underneath, because it ends up being way, 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 way too busy. So what they've done here with this one is they've made a marble war paint, where at higher wares, you get more of the of the striations in the, the mineral separation inside of marble. Because if, for those of you that don't know um, what marble is, marble is metamorphosed calcite. And when you metamorphose calcite, um, you end up with a, a partial... It's not necessarily partial melting, but it's a, it's a it's a chemical reconstruction of the constituents inside of calcite. So you get a separation of calcite, which is the white, and then other mineral constituents, which are the black. And so you, when you end up with marble, you end up with these black striations because of the heating and pressure that separate these minerals out. And they attempted to recreate that visual pattern by having the custom wear be those striations. So at higher wares, you get you go from white down to more of the black cracks. So you have like a more heavily metamorphosed calcite, which is really, really fucking cool. And it's, it's a soft spot for me as a geologist. I think it's great. So, one, one minor nitpick on this. And I don't know if it's possible to do this. I suspect that it's not. I don't think the custom wear should be on the dark parts of the weapon. I think that should just wear normally and only have the white part wear with the cracks. I don't think it's possible for you to have two separate wear textures, though. If you could, I think that's what you should do, but I don't think you can. But what Mars done here is um, they've, they've implemented a, a custom wear pattern, which is really fucking neat. So you get, instead of, like, linear scratches, 
or slightly curved scratches, you get crackles, which is really nice. It actually looks like worn out stone, which is awesome as shit. Yeah, I figured I figured he couldn't do it. I figured he couldn't do it. It's a shame he can't. But um but hey, you made this is this is a fucking this is a winner for sure. This is a great war paint. I would love to see this in game. And this is it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how you handle white. This is how you handle white. You don't make it flat, solid, saturated white. You give it texture. Like you can see, I, they did the thing where they put the they use a, a background texture as their 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 showcase thing, but um they darkened it. But you can see that there's actual texture with this. It's not flat white, and it's also not full blast saturated white. It looks really really good. Amazing war paint. It's it's incredibly well done. I love it. It's good shit. Fucking amazing. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I've done that one. Pyramid Scheme? When was this uploaded? Like, today. Okay, this is uploaded today. Here we go. Pyramid Scheme. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, all right, all right, all right, okay, all right. So, <laughs> I mean, why not, right? God damn it. <laughs> Needless to say, I wasn't expecting that. Oh Christ! Okay, so it looks good. This is this war paint looks good. It's 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 passable out of the gate, which is fantastic. Couple of minor nitpicks. So first, I don't think you should have two textures running the pattern template. I think you should stick to the lighter sandstone or the darker sandstone having the hieroglyphs on it, uh, not both, because. Thankfully, on some weapon models, you have these solid elements breaking up the, the pattern bits. But on others, like the shot, or the, the scorch shot, rather, you have this continuous... You have the, the, they, they continuously go across each other, which makes certain parts of the weapon model look too busy. So, in my opinion, perhaps, what you should do is make either the dark or the light sandstone... Just solid stand, like solid textured sandstone. That's what you should do. Otherwise, you end up having it look a little too busy, and you end up with scaling issues too, right? Like you notice it on the whip, you notice it on the back end of the loose cannon. They're scaled down so much that they're really, really small, and that adds another element of not only uh, pattern randomness but scaling randomness, which just makes it not look really good. It you end up, it ends up being a little too busy in certain parts of the weapon. So I think you should just make one or the other sandstone textures have the hieroglyphs on it. And then it'd be really good. Um, the solid elements... Hmm, what could you do? Because if you did that, then the solid elements would end up being too flat. So... Perhaps... What you could do is... Give it a brick texture. Like the bricks on the sandstone back here. Give it that same brick texture on either of the sandstones, but just remove the hieroglyphs. That's the way to do it. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Just keep the same brick texture, the, the, the brick striations, but just remove the hieroglyphs, like on the darker one, but keep it on the light one. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Then it will look good. Then you won't have to worry about the scaling issues so much on this on the primary texture. That's how. And that's it. Yeah, that's that, that's it. Pretty good. Uh, I looked at that one last time, and I agree. It is a god-tier war paint. Well, not god-tier, but it's pretty good. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Just... 
I mean, Mar did this as an intentional gag. I, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. You get it? It's toilet paper, and for some reason, Vampire is licking it. Ha ha ha. There's also, I, I think, a random shit stain somewhere on this. Yeah, there it is. There's poopy stains. Oh, God. Play the video. Oh, no. Do I have to? Should I play the video? And also very fitting timing with the sonic music. Um, I, I, can't, I can't play the audio. I'll get, I'll get copyright striked. But I'll, I'll, I'll give you a brief taste of the song. That's all I'll give you. But you, you know the music that's playing. <laughs> so bad. Like, it's, it's intentionally made to look like shit, right? I like how you, I like how you reverse the, 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 the suicide animation. I told you that before, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my lord. You, you even got a fucking Festivizer on it. It's, you just made this look as fucking awful as possible, dude. Oh my god. You can't even tell what the fuck's happening. It's such a fucking mess. Wow. So cool. Minion Scout. It's just this... You, you've, you've truly made something fucking horrific here, Mar. Thank you. It has team colors. Oh, my lord. There, there, there's more. The, the, on, honestly, the shit stain is, is awful. It's, it's the worst thing. Oh, god. Slavic Chief, Slavic Chief, subscribe. Thanks, man. We're we're enjoying. Oh fuck me! <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, oh no! It was NN gave out a gift sub. Thanks, man. Sorry, NN, another gift sub. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. Also, what the fuck's going on here, my lord? Uh thank you, thank you, Mar, for uh, this this fucking mess. Wow. Oh god horrible uh we saw that uh not reviewing that saw that one saw that one again no so huge no huge no already let me let me let me grab some different music here because you still have a little ways to go uh let's see what music i have Let's see, give me some fucking... Where am I at right now? Some fucking Mario music going, baby. Elysian Marble! Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a no. The colors are just not appropriate. This hype, and also, again, you've... We, we're seeing another instance where they've attempted to use turbulent noise to create a stone texture, and it, as a result, you ended, cre ended up creating something very, um, not good. Oh, it's a fucking, is this a Xenoblade reference? It is, isn't it? No, this is a Xenoblade reference, okay, so I can't, I can't, I guess I can't take this one too seriously. At the same time, uh, the colors are just not appropriate for the game. This mint green and the saturated red just simply don't belong. Definitely replace them with something else. Um, a more, you know, desaturated red would work. Green, mint green, not quite. Um, maybe just make that gold. Just have that be gold along with the gold you have here, and that would look way better. And then uh, adjust the stone texture so it's not just random noise, perhaps. Actually, no, this doesn't look like... Th is this noise? I can't tell. It it might be... It might be some kind of noise. Gener generated noise, but it's... At first glance, my my untrained eyes can't tell immediately. But, um... I don't know. This is mediocre overall. I would just say no thanks. Main, main issues are the colors. The textures aren't terrible, but the colors really need adjustment in order for it to be acceptable into the game. It's just not... This is not... Not good. Not good. Why? Why... Brownie face. Oof. So, remember, remember what I said earlier about big color bomb unusual effects? This is one of them. It's a bit much. It, it's, it's, it's a little much. And it's so fast, too. God, this hurts to look at. Imagine this was in-game. Jesus. 
Like, like the distortion on the edges is what makes it the least appealing for me. It's, it's way, way too much. Yeah, we, we have a kaleidoscope effect already, but this just takes it up. This just amps it up to 11. It's way too much. It's, it's, oof. No thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm really tired of these. I'm, I'm really tired of these sets of unusual effects that are just hypersaturated color. The same hypersaturated colors of pink and purple and green and blue. And, and orange, and then they're just reused over and over again on, you know, energy trail, energy trail particle effects with varying amounts of community sparkles and, and slight change in rotational or falling speed. It's just, I'm over it. We don't need, we don't, it's, it's not, it's too much. Too much, too much, too much, too much. Get, bring us back to the more subtle, still eye-catching, but, you know, less, less color vomit. Unusual effects, please. Take us back to simpler times. Saw that one already. Seen this already. Uh, have I seen this one already? What else we got here? Did I look at this one? I'm getting kind of gassed out here, so I'm going to maybe do... Here, like, here we go. This, this isn't so bad. Like, th this is, this is a, a more appropriate unusual effect for the game. It's effectively sunbeams. I mean, this is literally sunbeams. But then they added, like, a solar flare. Okay, that's a bit more appropriate, I would say. I don't know why it's green. Why not just have it be, like, gold and then, I guess, silvery white? Don't know why we need a third variant that's green. I guess to appeal to, you know... Valve, so we can add three new effects, which are just recolors of the same particle animation. I don't know why they keep fucking doing that. It's really annoying. But, um, yeah, it's not bad. I, I would much prefer to see this over that big color vomit mess of the, uh, of the other one. I'm not a big fan of that. Green. Green sun! Saw that one already. What else do I have here? Dreaded locks. Um. So look at the regulator, and that's how dreadlocks should look in TF2. These aren't quite the, the modeling is poor. It's poorly modeled. The concept is fine, but they're not visually appropriate for TF2. They're too blocky and too simple. It's not. It's not quite done right. Like if you look at the if you look at the the, the regulator, right. You know, the regulator is mostly one solid shape, but then they've kind of beveled it, you know, to make it look like individual dreads in the dreadlocks. That's how they should have done it here, instead of doing these individual strands. That looks weird. That's it. it adjust the modeling of the hair. The concept is fine, but in its current state, it's just, it's not really appropriate for the style of the game, I don't think. Not quite there. New summary leak raid. Whoa! 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 Melons! Yeah! Melon hat! Yeah! 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 Summer fruit! Yeah! 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 Fruit! 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 Yeah! 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 I want it! I need it! I need it! I need it! Yeah! Four people made this. Four! Four! Four fucking people made this? It's so shit. It's so fucking bad. Haha, you can only make loadouts with it if you dye other things green! Dog shit fucking hat. Fortnite tier cosmetics! That's something you would see in fucking Fortnite! You would see half a watermelon slapped on top of Naruto's head as he's building his fucking fort. It's not something you would see in TF2. It's just not, it's just terrible. Fuck me, man. God. So fucking tired of hats like this. Give me some, give me some good fucking food. That's what I need. Police girl. Like, I mean, it, it, it's like Alucard's hat, but it's a summer hat, and for some reason make it all class? No. It doesn't need to be all class. It doesn't look bad. It's not bad. Like... It's not bad. 
It looks good. Yeah, you can make a lot of decent loadouts with this. This is this is this is this is appropriate. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. Good shit. Yeah, you can make a lot of decent loadouts with it. That's a sign of a good cosmetic. Melon head is cool. Shut up. Shut up. I like the melon head. Sucks dick. Tired of cosmetics like that, man. Give us an actual hat, not a piece of fruit slapped on top of the soldier's head. Like, remember what I said last month when... Uh, I've said this before, like, summer is usually the only reprieve that we get from the heavily seasonal themed items, right? Halloween, we get Halloween items. Christmas, apparently we just get nothing but Christmas trees and Santa hats now. Summer... Normally, we would get fairly normal cosmetics for TF2 that look like they would belong in the game. But now, workshoppers think, okay, let's just go all in, balls to the fucking wall, and now make nothing but heavily seasonally seasonal stuff for summer. Sandcastle hats, fruit on the head, lemonade, strawberries and orange slices, fishing suits fish in general it's like no summer is usually the time when we get a break from seasonal tacky crap like that but now it seems as if though people are shifting gears to be like oh no now summer now the summer cosmetic case must be seasonally themed fuck off ceramic manor what's he made nice Nice. Here's some good fucking food for you. Here we go. It's the mini sentry pattern, but put on the sticky bomb launcher in, and it actually looks really good. This is awesome. This that's just fucking cool. Uh, Cer Ceramic Manor knows no he he knows what's up. He knows what's up. He gets he he's got his shit together. He knows what he's doing. Again, it's a shame Valve will never add uniquely mapped skins like this ever again into Team Fortress 2. We'll never see skins like this ever again. Because I don't know why they don't do it anymore, because I guess war paints are easier. But man, this is great. Fucking sick. It looks good. Colors are great. Patterning is great. Design is great. You know, it's it's a clever little it's a clever idea. Because if you look at like the drum of the the barrel drum on the sentries, it looks like the 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 drum on the sticky bomb launcher. It's cool. Just again, another 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 stellar example of what skins should be inside of TF2. Sad to think we will never get a case again that has the quality control of the Blue Moon case. Yeah, that was it. Like blue, the Blue Moon case was the beginning of the fucking end. Everything was downhill from there. Because before that point, we only had the seasonal stuff kind of just like just like just like dashed in a little bit. Like we had the occasional seasonal pocket cosmetic or the, the occasional elf hat or the the santa hat or or something right but as soon as the fucking blue moon case hit everything after that fucking sucks the only exception maybe summer 2019 a couple of decent hats were in that case but mostly crap like the balloon phones and the fucking i don't know the bread hat for heavy the sandwich hat for the heavy just ugh. Yeah, and you will notice a significant decline in the quality of cosmetics since the Blue Moon update, because that was the last significant update that TF2 received. Ah, yes, this one. Another Mar war paint for you. Bedazzlement, which is a war paint themed off of the, uh, the Dazzle camouflage. That was used on uh, on warships in the 20s and 30s. So for those curious, yeah, you know, yeah, for the First World War, this is the the camouflage they would use for warships. And for those of you that don't know, uh, there is an actually there's actually an unused texture. Where are you? You are in the camo folder. And for those unaware, there's actually an unused dazzle pattern. Can I zoom out? Zoom out. Zoom out. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, there's an unused Dazzle texture in the TF2 game files. Oops. That uh, that was never used. 
So, my friend Mar here took inspiration from the Dazzle camouflage and an unused and an unused thing. And there you go. We have a new war paint. Which is great. They completely they completely remade the texture, removed the very odd element of like the spy head and the spy silhouette from it, and we ended up with something that actually looks pretty simple, pretty subtle, and it's really, really good. This is a pretty sick war paint. And you know what I like about this war paint? Is that instead of it just being continuous stripes, instead of being continuous stripes across a single texture, it's broken up by the random intersections of these stripes, so it really breaks it up, and it looks really fucking awesome, right? You made your original texture, and you broke it up, and it looks really fucking good. And the colors are great, too. I think I think the colors are, are, are spot on, right? This is nice, right? It, it reminds me of Peppermint Swirled, but this is like an infinitely superior version of Peppermint Swirled. Like... Yeah, candy cane, but it's it's way better than the fucking candy cane war paint that we have. It's really really nice, and it re and it you know it references a military texture. And I, yeah, I like how it's funny. Like someone asked, like how the fuck is this camouflage? I don't know what their reasoning was. And look at it in game. It looks good in game. This is sick. This is a really good skin. Exemplary work, my friend. Though in certain light, it looks a bit minty. I feel like that should be a bit more white and not so minty. Minor nitpick, but that's it. Like, like this isn't really red tinged. Why didn't you just use this same white on the blue? I think that would have looked better, actually. I probably should have told you this sooner. I didn't. I didn't. It didn't really register with me until now. Perhaps you should have used the same washed out, like, darker tan white color as the secondary for the blue stripes. And instead of this, this almost mint green in certain light, like, here it doesn't look so minty green. But I think that same tan texture would have looked better. Would have looked better. I'm curious as to how that would look now if you if you replace that with the same the same tan white. I think it'd look a lot better actually. Yeah, it would look a lot better because here even though it's by no means the same shade of blue, it's still blue-ish and so you don't it's like you have a tiny a tiny amount you have a, you have a slightly lower amount of contrast between the stripes and the background color. And I think it, it it detracts. It doesn't it doesn't look as good as it would I think with the tan color. I should have caught that sooner. I'm sorry I didn't. But beyond that very minor nitpick, good shit. Very good shit. Is my internet shitting the bed? I think my internet is shitting the bed. So if my stream suddenly goes away, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, summer, fish, yeah! It's just, the, the sprite looks terrible, the water trail looks terrible. The cartoony style of these things is, is simply inappropriate. It's just, it's poorly made. It doesn't look good. It's not well drawn. The At least the rotation is like the right frame rate, but the water is poor. The bubbles are, you know, the same bubbles we have in the game files already. It looks very similar to them. Seven people made this? No thanks. No thanks. Like, I, I understand that each person, like, contributes. Each person contributes, you know, someone makes the concept, Don't someone does the sprites, someone does the animation. But did it really take seven people to make a, an effect that looks that mediocre? It looks really bad. Like, I, it's like, 
I've seen one-man teams do far better work on unusual effects, and that's saying something. What else we got? Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do one, one more, one more item, and then I'm done for the day, I think. What's it gonna be? Saw that one, saw that one. What is this? Hey! Okay. Alright. Remember what I said earlier? Remember what I said earlier? About uh, taking elements from the flag and then making it into a war paint? This is going in the right direction. I would say. It's certainly better. Unfortunately, you have these two textures, which are almost identical, and so they, they blend together and makes the whole war paint look one color. So they would have needed to make either one of these two textures different from the other. Perhaps they could have made this one like white stripes or something, like white and blue stripes or something to contrast with like the solid red, and then you can keep like the Brit like the, the British flag repeating on that texture is not very good. But, um, also, yeah, 2017, never gonna see it in-game. But, um, I mean, yeah, colors are good. It's not... it's not bad. I just think it needs... It, it would need significant adjustment, because the primary and... The primary and, um, tertiary textures are too similar in the colors. I think having this one be, like, the solid pattern with the stars, and then this maybe having some kind of stripes, or a more heavily textured element, and then, I don't, I still, the repeating British flag doesn't look quite right. Um, but it's still better than the other. I think still continue to develop the removal of elements from the British flag and then make entirely new textures out of it. I think that would have been the, the, the better, the better bet. But it's not bad. It's, it's like, and the, the interesting headshot. Why the headshot logo? I'm not sure why that's there. It breaks it up a little bit. But um, but not enough because if you look at like if you look at the lock and load, it's just this mass of blue. Like the 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 randomly spaced stars don't break up the blue texture enough, so you end up with just big chunks of the weapon model that are all the same color. So it looks like an untextured weapon. So it it just gotta gotta fix that. Gotta gotta fix that. The wear looks good though. Like higher wear, it's funny because you have like a solid color mess like this, but then higher wears make it look better because you're incorporating more texture and more color. So, yeah. Oh, it's the Aussie flag? Sorry, I'm an idiot. It's the Australian flag. I'm stupid. That's why it's the headshot logo. Duh. All right. Whoopsie. Still, the British still own them. It is their prison colony. But, um... Okay. That makes more sense now with the headshot logo. But still, my, my same stances still apply. That, um, they gotta break up those two textures a bit, and then it would look better. But the wear, the wear makes it look good, which is funny. Like, the, the, the beating up of it adds the, the texture and color contrast it so desperately needs to make it all not one color. So, if you can figure out how to do that with the main textures, it would be better. And I think that's a wrap. I think that's a wrap for me. Oops, someone took existing sprites and made an unusual effect out of them. Wow. Lazy. No thanks. Pass. Uh, okay, so apparently I have boxes to open here by uh, our, our generous associate, Squidly. Eat pants. I guess I'm eating pants today. Oh my god, you got really expensive ones. Uh, okay, so we have ten infernal rewards. Jesus. Oh boy, this should be interesting. I'm kind of scared about these cases because they're they're like way more expensive now. Squidly, dear God. Ooh. FN Strange Freedom Wrapped, please. Yeah. Sure. Also, if you're if, for those curious as to how I was getting the the TF2 textures, if you just get G, GCF Scape and uh, VTF Edit, you can just look at all the the, the in-game textures for TF2. So like, you know, here they all are. So like here's the here's the red rock Roscoe texture. 
So, yeah. For those curious. I don't just have all the files saved into, like, a separate folder that I can just pull up for my reference. I just, I, I just directly access the game files using those programs. Have I seen Crimson ca the cash case inflation? Yeah, because people just want the, the fucking pumpkin moon effect and traders are blowing up the price of those into infinity. And there's like two or three cosmetics in that case where if you get pumpkin moon on them, it's worth like $1,500. So yeah, they're, they're going up in price a lot for that reason. Okay, 10 boxes. 10 instances of pure suffering, ladies and gentlemen. I hope we are ready to watch a lot of money get poured down the drain. Never open cases for two reasons now. One, it's gambling and you are guaranteed to lose your money. You will get nothing in return. And second, you are supporting a company that does not fix their fucking game. This isn't my money. And considering they're tradable, they probably bought them. They did buy them off of a third party site where all the money in this exchange, not a single cent was given to Valve. So, fuck Valve. So. Let the suffering begin. Uh, Battle Scarred Quack Can. We're, we're gonna get at least, we're gonna get at least six Quack Canvas War Paints. First one right here. Clover Camo. Field Tested. If we get six quack canvases, um, cock and ball reveal on like Twitter or something, so I won't get banned. There's the first one. Uh, let's see. This is this is this is gonna be the well worn, well worn quack canvas. Nope, bloom buffed. Battle scarred. Uh, let's say Battle Scarred Blue, uh, Blue Grade. There we go, Quack Canvas, there you go. There's two. There's two. Cock and Ball Torture on stream. Um, Minimal Wear, Minimal Wear Quack Canvas this time. That's three. Three more to go. Three more to go and you get to see my dick. Another field tested quack canvas. Cardboard box. It's gonna happen, I'm gonna be pissed. Bloom buffed. Minimal wear. All right, these next three have to be quack canvassed. <laughs> People are like, come on! They're getting excited in chat. Tour of duty. Merc stained. Minimal wear. All right, not happening, guys. We didn't get. We didn't get six. We didn't get six. Name tag, and another cardboard box. And last but not least, Quack Canvas. Starcrossed. And not a single strange. Do I have anything I can chuck into a trade up? I do. Well, let's trade these up. Can't trade up that one. I can trade these up. We have a 10% chance at something factory new. If I hit kill cupboard, be pretty good. All right, we want factory new kill covered. Otherwise, it's effectively just we we we, we lost all the money, Squidly. It's all gone. Lol, no money. Lol, no money. Field te or minimal wear clover camo. There you go. And that's a wrap. That is a very 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 quick way to turn what forty bucks. 
about forty dollars into a dollar, roughly, or two dollars maybe at most. So don't open cases. What can I say? The flames rage on. Thirty-seven. I was close. I was close. Okay, uh, that's a wrap. So yeah, again, I did uh, I did the workshop review stream early this month because this is uh, the only day that I'm going to be able to stream. I'm going to be out of town until August. And uh, hopefully by then, a majority of this video is going to be done and edited, so it'll be uploaded by the time I get... Some, sometime soon after I get back, I should say. And, uh, yeah... Thank you for all the follows today. Thank you for all the subs today. And um, thanks for hanging out. And uh, if you want to see my previous... If you want to see my previous streams... From, for the workshop reviews, uh, go to my second channel. Because I have a second channel now. Where I just dump a bunch of random crap on there. So go check that out. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Whenever that's going to be. Is Coyote streaming? I think she is. I think she is streaming. She is streaming. So let's raid Miss Coyote here. Is it working? I think it's working. Yes. Alright, go go say hi. 